Hello, my beautiful florists, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Flora, and I am on Hannah Mountain Field today. And with spring upon us and bugs in the air, I decided it's time to do a spring cleanup. Now, I look like a mess. I have tack and clothes all over the place, and we have got to give my home stable a nice clean. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, with all jokes aside, my inventory is just an, a complete mess, and I'm just ashamed of my home stable right now. Once you guys see what I have been living in, you are going to be like Flora. How did you even survive there? And it's, well, to be honest with you, it is because I am an alligator and that is my new habitat now. <music> Also guys, make sure you go down and subscribe and join the floral family. We are almost at 1,000 florists. I'm still really trying to figure out what my kind of theme is and how my videos should be styled. So I'm always playing around with stuff like that. So always let me know if there's anything that you would like to see. Okay, so here we are. We just entered into an absolute mess. Um, as you can see, I've been really lazy and I've just been leaving my horses all tacked up like this. And we just simply, we got to fix this, guys. We got to, we really need to kind of update everything that's going on here and really just clean it all up because my inventory is a mess. I'm at maxed out shillings. Like, this is just a joke. So what I'm going to do is, oh my gosh, yeah. And then I have like shirts in here and hats in here and how... Let's start off with the shoes. I'm just going to, because I don't have like too many of these. I'm literally, guys, like... I know I might trigger some of you, but I'm literally just going to put them all in here. Like, not even going to super organize it, but like just to get it in its place. Where I just want to kind of organize it all so that it's all looking great and in its place. Because I've got hats and pants and everything in the wrong place right now. So we have got to get to the bottom of that. Getting all of my tack off of the horses there, that's gonna take so much time, guys. So all I wanna keep in here, oh, it looks like we got a lot of dresses, is sweaters and kind of anything in that department. Like dresses can come with me and I'll trade you for like a vest. And, oh guys, when we had Christmas in Star Stable, that was some of the best clothes. Like look at this. How am I not a cute little teddy bear? The other day, my boyfriend and I went to uh, like, a, like a hiking spot and we both have two dogs. One is Honey and the other is Mocha. They're both rescues. And we wanted to go on a hike and it was so hot. Like the weather's been so back and forth. So we went on a hike and um, not even two minutes into the trail, we found a tick on Honey's little head and on Mocha. And we're like, oh my gosh, we can't do this. So we had to take them home, like rush them home, make sure they were all okay, clean and, and whatnot. And it was just so frustrating and so annoying because it was just like it did not need to happen and like the ticks are just like so frustrating right now like they're just so vicious and i think they die around like june august so looks like we can't take the little girls out for walks until then because i really ticks are just not fun like you just kind of want to avoid them at all costs so that's definitely what i'm going to be doing or at least what we're going to be doing for a bit is just kind of staying indoors with the girls um but as for ourselves, so we went home and we dropped off the girls after we gave them like a bath and like a tick rinse. And we actually went back and there's just such beautiful like back roads that we went on and it was so gorgeous outside. I got so badly burnt that I literally could not lift my arms up for like three days. And then like my skin was peeling and it was just like a nightmare. And I looked like a tomato for like just forever. And like now it's finally getting like a nice tan. But now it's raining and it's gloomy and it's cold. And it's like, what is going on with the weather? The weather needs to decide whether it's having a good day or a bad day. Okay, so what I'll do is while I do this, I'll talk about when I joined Star Stable. So when I joined back in 2012, I was, I don't know, eight, nine years old. I can't even, I'm not even going to do the math. Um, and... I was, I found this game and it was like in like winter time. So it was like December. And I just remember logging on to Star Stable for the first time and it was so magical. I remember like, you know, meeting Justin and Moreland and Thomas and all this kind of stuff. And I would beg my mom, like, I think I played Star Stable for two to three years without any type of star stable subscription and then one time i came home and it must have been like 2013 2014 and my mom had surprised me with lifetime and i was like oh my gosh mom this is so great like whatever and 
here we are. And this account, guys, is so freaking old. It's unbelievable. And I don't know if I was like anybody else did this, but what I did is when I didn't have lifetime, um, I would make so many accounts like and I wouldn't even like I'd make up the email I'd make up the username and I'd make up everything to the point where like I couldn't even remember it to log back in where we're obviously now like you have to verify your email verify this verify that so it's like you can't do that but back in the day I would just make so many accounts because you could only go up to like level three or like level five and I was like, what the heck? That literally sucks. So I would literally make so many, <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna put that there, so many accounts and play with them. And it was just such a magical time. Like, oh, I just remember like playing like spirit music in the background while I would like run on my tinker horse. I should actually show you my, my very first horse that I've ever bought on the game um, when getting lifetime. And I can remember the name. So the name is Danger Peak and it's a tinker horse. I know some of you are OGs and you've been around for a while, but some of you haven't been and you're very new to the community. And what I can be very grateful about is the fact that we all are just so welcoming and like, oh, you joined in 2020? Like, that's great. Like, we don't shame, right? And a lot of communities are like, oh, you're new to the community. Like, screw you or whatever. But no, we're very welcoming and the friendships do last. Like, I'm here to tell you, I have friends from Star Stable from six, five years ago. And uh, it's just, it's absolutely insane how beautiful friendships you can make on the game. I used to make a bunch of accounts and play on them. And I would tell everybody like, hey, like my main account is this and, you know, like friend me or whatever it may be. But back in the day, there would be these YouTube videos that you could watch, like buying horses, like buying the Frisian, buying the new American quarter horse. And they were such low quality and people couldn't figure out how to hook up their microphones to their game so they would like have to like do some sketchy stuff to like just film their voice and so they would like usually just mute the whole video and just put like some sketchy sped up like song on it and I would always watch those and I would love them so much and it would let me like it would let me dream and think that like maybe I was getting that horse one day and it really just, I just, I just loved it so much and I would always watch people getting like lifetime membership. I will probably never forget Star Stable and I'm really happy with like all of my connections that I've made and everything that's happened so far on the games. I'm level 22 right now, but the year that I joined, I could totally be level 24 if I did all my quests. Like what am I at? If I show you like guys come on come on and some of those are like repetition as well like if I did those I could totally be at um level 24 so okay I just want to make sure that I don't have any tack or anything on these ones here okay so this is my first horse ever oh it's an Irish cob well it was a tinker horse back in the day but they've relabeled that this is the one and it was so magical and I would pretend that it's spirit don't even ask me why because I don't even know but anyway special love it okay and then I'm just gonna see if there's tack on any of these horses okay nope because I feel like sometimes I just like put them in here and like I don't even realize so let me just quickly look over this especially from like Halloween okay no actually I did pretty good okay I did pretty good. Nice. All right. Well, I did that. Oh, I got to put it now back in here. Okay. So let me go to horse gear and let me just quickly put this all back. And you know what, guys, we will come up with a beautiful outfit and take some photos. And I think that will wrap it up for the spring cleaning today. But I look like a mess. Why don't I get with the program? And then let's go pick a horse we want to ride. I'm thinking that I want to take out... Um, 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 let's see here. Um, let's take out Malin. Because you look beautiful in red. And let's go ahead. Oh, you know what I got to do for spring cleaning is get some of this going. Okay. Let's get eight days going. There's also a trick, guys. If you log on every day and you know you will, if you only get one stable care day, it'll last you two. So that's a life hack because it covers this the day that you're on. 
So I realized that like two years ago and I've been doing that ever since. But when I'm lazy and I don't like to log on every day, then that's a different story. I think I'm going to stick on the lighter vibe today. I still, the classic is so nice. And then the bear hug saddle with this is like just gorgeous. And then what saddle pad should we do? So we could do this one, which is like, okay, classic. Or we could do this one, but it has a little bit of blue. So let's just do all red. And then we'll do... Do I not even have... Oh, these ones. Those are the ones that I wanted. Awesome. And then also we'll do... We can do a pet as well. And then we'll get some red bows. I love those bows. Okay. And then the pet could be a little bear. And that will do it. That is a cute outfit. Okay. And then let me just make sure that I don't want to get any different makeup here. So let, just don't mind me. Also, I noticed that when you are riding your horses and you haven't given them stable care, they are actually so slow. Like I was running in like group races for like the equestrian festival and I noticed that I was like the slowest one. I'm like, what? I'm level 22. What? Okay. No, I don't want I like my hair. Let's, so this one's like plain. Could you put your head up? This is not the time to be looking at your shoes. I don't know how this isn't fixed. This is plain. That's weird. Okay. No, I have the best one. Wait, oh, yeah, whatever. I'll just keep it the same. Okay, well, that is cute. And my home steeple is now also clean and my inventory. That is so satisfying. Oh my gosh. I I just love that so much. Okay, so that will be, I guess that'll be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed and let me know if you enjoy a little bit of more realistic talk while we are playing Star Stable because personally that is one of my favorites it's just watching youtubers play the game while they're talking about something in real life it's just so calming to me but let me know if that's something that you would like and make sure you go down below and join the florist family we are almost at 1000 subscribers mm, love you all thank you so so much for watching you're all gorgeous you're all one of a kind xoxo stable girl